Good morning, it's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. I thought I was doing a video. Apparently I was taking pictures, so now I'm going to have a lot of pictures of myself talking to the camera. <sighs> Technology is not for people my age. <laughs> so it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday morning. The start of my work week. Yesterday was my day off, and it's the day that I run errands. So I took bottles and cans back to recycling. I did a bank errand and I dropped off the gift basket for the show that I'm doing on September 30th. It's at a nursery center that's maybe 15 miles that way. So dropped it off. The lady who, who took it in was like, oh, this is so cute. It was a colorful dog from the pattern from Sharon Ojala, Little Bigfoot Puppy. I will link it in the comments. I also had a dog bed, a blanket, and a bone to go with it. It's supposed to be a $35 value gift. I think that putting all those things together should get it up into the $35 range. So then, as long as I was 15 miles out that way, there was a Hobby Lobby. Just, okay, down here. So I went to Hobby Lobby. Oh. Now there are some yarns. Right here, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee so I can put that down. There are some yarns that I'm always running out of. Some favorite colors. Medium Sage. Um... Dinosaurs, geckos, I've made a lot of Ankylosaurus with medium sage. Toasted almond, skin tone for dolls, donuts, ice cream cones, chicken nuggets, I was all out of light grays, so I got a light gray and an even lighter gray. Oops, showing off, getting ahead of myself here. And since I'm almost out of white blanket yarn, I got some of that for continuing with my bumblebees. And I did cruise by the discount rack and this was usually $5.99. It was on clearance for $3.49. So it's like Hobby Lobby is taking lessons from Joann's on their discounts. I'll have to figure out the percentage and put it up over there. They're not doing 75% off for their clearance. So that was it. I mean, well, one, two, three, four, five, six skeins. Cost me $21. Then I went to, first I went to a Goodwill store. It was just down the road. Didn't get anything there. They had no yarn, no storage bins. Took a quick look through their clothes. Didn't see anything I liked. It just, okay, it's a bust. And then... I turned around and came back south again, and there was a Salvation Army store. I stopped in there. I got one little basket, and it was blue tag, half off, so it was 49 cents plus tax. So I figured, okay, I can put this on the table. Little sign, like, glow-in-the-dark monsters, X number of dollars, and... Okay. Oh, I think that on Saturday when I was pressing so hard to finish my goals, do this, do this, do this, do this, that I sort of burned myself out because Sunday night I just sat there like, I don't want to work on anything. <laughs> so I got the head done on a beagle. That's it. Just a little, the head. I just couldn't bring myself to work on stuff. It's, playing games on my phone and watching videos on YouTube and 
I just, like I lost my Crojo for a day. So yesterday, once I got home from all my errands, oh, I was beat. I was out from 10.30 till about 3. Um, okay, let's work on something. And I look at the court, it's like, <laughs> I don't want to. So I pulled a baby weight yarn that had blue, pink, yellow, and a baby weight white and a green worsted weight. I think the color is tea green from Red Heart Super Saver. And I made a dinosaur. I'll link the pattern down below. I think it's Sleepy Steg, but I don't want to mess up the um, designer's name. I need more coffee. So I finished something. That's a victory. And while I was finishing this up, I think I was working on the legs. I just had the spikes to go. I got an Etsy message from someone wanting me to make my corgi, but in different colors to look like a character from a game her daughter plays. Okay, a pink corgi, blue legs, black ears. Okay, I can do that. So I did get an Etsy order last night and I have to work on an Etsy order when I get home. I'm gonna research a little bit more like for the exact colors and what the tail should look like and all that. So my Etsy shop is starting to pick up again. Yay! I need to go in and check and see, I think I have at least one of these in inventory. Pull it out of the box, get a picture of them all together, get some pictures of this guy, and get that listing updated. So, it is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 11 days to my next show. I do need to tag stuff and get my new finishes put in with the others. Um, I need to make some more signs, like since I have the vegetables a la carte now, I need to make up a sign that's like, okay, the corn is this much, the tomatoes are this much. Um, just little bits and pieces to get ready for the show. No problem. I'm, I mean, I could just take everything that I had from my last show, which is still in bins and boxes mostly. Just take that and have a very good full setup. But it just seems like the newest stuff seems to sell quickly. You know, it's the old stuff that just sits there forever. So I, I'm pretty much set for the show. I'm not stressing about it. I mean, it, there's no table cost other than my raffle basket. And that just cost me like a few hours of time to make the dog, the bed, the blanket, the bone were already made up, you know, minimal, minimal supplies. So it's a very low, low cost show. The last time I did it, it went very well. I think it's still in my top, still in my top five. When you're talking about 120 shows, being in the top five is a plus. So I think this time with more inventory and more of a plan for what's been selling well, I think this is going to be another top five show. But then I thought that about Street Fest and it got rained out. But this one's indoors. <laughs> Positive, negative. Positive, negative. I need to focus on the positive. Okay, I'm positive. I need to go to work. So, I'll see you in a few days. I am I think today I'm going to work on getting myself really organized. I have spreadsheets to update and my day planner needs to be updated. Like I need to enter the stuff that I have made and the Etsy sale and update my spreadsheet and need to stay on top of things. So, bye-bye.